Well, um, so I know I've been giving um, three videos per session. The one is your limber and your loosen up, and then the middle one is your flow, and then you've got your meditation and relaxing at the end. And um, this time we're just going to combine it all into a short um, sequence, as I keep it as short as I can, um, guided for around the 20 um, minute mark. Okay, so we just close our eyes and just arrive in your mat. Attitude of gratitude is the theme for my classes this week. So as you inhale each breath, give that sense of gratitude, that sense of gratitude of complete newness. And with each exhale, exhale a bit of gratitude for every single breath as you just let go of everything that no longer serves you. So just inhale through the crown of the head for one, two, three, four, soften, drop in the shoulders. And then exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, soften the jaw, crown on the forehead that goes. Pause with softness. And then exhale, just let it go. Inhale again to take the longer this if you wish to take more basics. Pause. Inhale. Pause. And exhale. Put each arms out with a reach of off. For one, two, three, four. We exhale and twist it. We bring the right hand onto the left knee. The left knee which is behind the tailbone. To inhale and lift and lengthen and twist the ribs to the left. The head we want to twist. We're trying to keep the head to face forward, so you're just bringing up the ribs. Inhale, we go tall, we just arch up all the sides, we chance them all in the spleen, never an exhale twist. Inhale, one more. Four, exhale, let it go. My hand beside the right thigh to the floor, push it into the floor. As you inhale, reach your left arm up. Breathe into the whole left hand side as you reach left arm over the left leg. Breathe in, try not to let the top shoulder to come forward. Reach it over, keep pushing the earth away with that bottom hand. Keep pushing the left sit bones into the floor, and then we float the left hand onto the right knee and reach your right arm up and down with the right ear. Get rid of the kink in the elbow as you breathe into the whole right hand side. Exhale, release any tension. And then we float it forward. In line with the shoulders with both hands, breathe into the belly, the lower back, and exhale forward. Breathe in as we fold. And then we curl the belly in as we slowly rise back up, but we just cross over the ankle. Repeat the exact same sequence. We inhale, we rise up. Twist the right hand behind the sit bones with the left hand onto the right knee. We inhale to go tall through the spine, through the back hand. Twist the ribs to the right. Inhale to go tall, we twist to get that twist in the neck. Breathe in to twist. And then exhale, bring the right hand beside the right thigh, reach the left arm up. No, sorry, left hand to the left thigh and reach the right arm up. We did that already. Breathe in, reach it over, release the kink in the elbows. Breathe into the right rib cage, push it away as so you reach with that bottom hand. And then bring the right hand onto the left knee, reach the left arm and line the left ear. Release the kink in the elbow as you reach it over the left ear. Breathe into that left rib cage. Breathe in. And then we float it forward. Having both hands in line with the shoulders. Again, we breathe into the belly and we hinge from the hip. Breathe in. Each exhale, squeeze the belly in. And then we slowly walk the hands back, squeeze the belly in, and we face the top of the mat. And we just place the hands behind the knees as we slowly kick the weight onto the shoulders. Just loosen up the bearded belly, bring space between the spine, keep kicking it up. And then we eventually come into a squat position. Bring the feet together, the top of our mat. 
roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the spine, lift the lower belly, hands into heart center, or if you want to strengthen the shoulders, if you feel strong enough, the shoulders you can reach your arms up and lift the ears, or you can have to yell up. Breathe into the belly, and then we just hover the thighs off the calves. Bring the heels as high as you can, we just hold it for five deep breaths. Each exhale, squeeze the belly into the spine. Lengthen through the legs as we drop the heels and we fold. Just trying to get an inner bit of heat flow. Maybe we grab each elbow, maybe the upper arms are placed beside the ears and just sway left and right. Keep pulling on the elbows as you reach the forearms towards the floor. And then we release the grip of the elbows as we slowly reach the arms up. And exhale, we fold. Left hand comes underneath the left shoulder, float the right hand up towards the sky. Breathe into the belly and bring all the way into the right heel. The option, if you're flexible enough, to straighten through the left leg of the foot. Just three deep breaths here and then exhale, reach your right arm over the right ear. Slant the right hand underneath the right shoulder. Lift the left arm up. Breathe into the belly, push the earth away, bring the weight into the left heel. Next exhale, reach the left arm over the left ear, float it down. And then we inhale, reach your arms out, we rise up. And we exhale, bring our hands towards the heart center. Chair pose, breathe into the belly as we sink down. Breathe in, sink down. And then exhale, fold. Reach your arms out as you rise up. Exhale, hands to our heart center. We sink. Breathe the belly into the spine. We sink. And then exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we sink. Squeeze the belly into the spine. We sink. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise up. Hands come to touch. Exhale, we sink. Bring the weight into the left foot, hover the right foot. Breathe in, step the right foot back. And exhale, hover the right knee. Inhale, step the right foot up, chair pose. Exhale, left foot back. Hover the left knee. Inhale, left foot, step the chair. Exhale, right foot, step back. Hover the right knee. Squeeze the belly in, step the right foot up. Step the left foot. Back, hover the left knee, step the left foot. Last one, step the right foot back, hover the right knee, step the right foot up, step the left foot back, hover the left knee, and step it back. Chair pose. Breathe into the belly as we sink. Breathe in deeply and twist to the right hand side. Bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, press the palms in towards each other. Breathe in as we twist. Bring the weight into the right foot and step the left foot back. Breathe in. Maybe go a little bit deeper into your twist. And then reach your arms in line with the ears, elbows, shoulders, stack. Sink into the front thigh. And then we inhale, bend the elbows in line with the shoulders. We lift our chest to the sky, straight into the front leg. Exhale, bend through the front knee, reach your arms forward in line with the ears. Exhale, we open, lengthen through the front leg. Reach your forward, palms come to touch. Exhale, push into your with the front foot, lengthen. Two more, reach your forward, sink into that thigh. Open. Reach your forward. And then release the left hand inside the right ankle, so the right arm up towards the sky. Maybe sink the hips. Breathe in as we twist a little bit more. And then release the right hand to the outside of that right foot. And step the left foot about a foot in. So we're doing a lot of work on that front leg. Now we're just going to stretch it out. Feel free to clasp the hands behind the tailbone or keep them on the earth. 
Option is totally yours. You can lift and lengthen if they're clapped. Lengthen through the spine and exhale, fold. If the hands are planted, you just inhale, push here the weight and lengthen. And exhale, fold. Take a couple of breaths here, rooting through both feet to pull the front hip back and the back hip forward. Keep the belly in contact with the thigh. And then we bend through the front knee and place the right foot, right hand in front of the right foot, about a foot. Left hand onto left hip. And bring the weight into that right foot as we flex the left toes and line the left hip. Half moon pose. Maybe float the left hand to the thigh or keep it on the hip. Maybe float the right hand towards the heart center. The option is yours. Just keep the top toe flexed so the top toe is active, it's not soft. And the space for the next couple of postures. And then we bend through that front leg, step the back foot back for your warrior three. Warrior two, sorry. Sink into that front leg. You should feel the difference between the legs now. Lift the lower belly, drop the lower spine. Sink. Sink. Right hand faces up towards the sky. Reach it forward. In line with the right ear, then reverse warrior. Breathe in as you sink. Totally recommend and putting this on a slower speed on YouTube as well. You can really connect to that breath. And then we slowly come back into warrior two. Hands into our heart center. And we come onto the ball of the back foot. And just give yourself a little bit of space. And then lengthen through the back leg so it's active when it comes up. Weight into the front foot. Warrior three. Read your chest forward. Flex the left toes to the floor. Read into the belly. Shoulders away from the ears. Stretch out that rounded leg. And then a soft bend into the front leg. Release the hands. Step the back foot back. Reach it up into three legged dog. Read into the belly. Ripple forward, right elbow to right knee. Inhale, lift it up, three legged dog. Right knee into chest, round to the shoulders. Inhale, lift it up. Right knee to left elbow, release it off the mat to the left hand side. Bring the weight into the right hand and flip the left hand up towards the side. Breathe in, push here so we have the blade of that right foot. And then we release the left hand. Step it back into your downward dog and just pen it out for five deep breaths. We ripple it forward to our plank. You can drop the knees or you can bend the elbows and slowly release down. Roll the shoulders, the elbows back. Release the hands on the lower back, baby fingers touch each other, and then roll the elbows to shoulders back as if you want them to touch each other. Press the toenails in. Knees are actively lifted to engage side. Breathe into the belly, lift the ribs, lift the chest. Hover on the exhale as you squeeze the belly in. Inhale, press the belly in. Exhale, hover, squeeze the belly in. Inhale. Exhale, release. Clasp the hands behind the table. Reach knuckles towards the back of the mat. The exact same again. Press the toenails in. Engage through the side, lift the knees. Inhale, we lift the ribs. Inhale, we lift. Squeeze the belly in on the exhale. And then we release the hands, press the air of the weight, exhale into child's pose. Inhale, lift it up into downward dog. Gaze between the hands as we walk, step or jump between the hands. Chair pose, reach the arms up and out the ears to the opposite side. Breathe into the belly, twist the ribs to the left. Bend through the knees a little bit more to bring that right elbow outside that left knee. Press the hands into each other. Keep the knees together once I want to creep forward. 
Bring the weight into the left foot and step the right foot back. High lunge. Reach your arms in and out of the ears. Bend into the front leg. Inhale, we rise up. Lengthen through the front leg. Exhale, arms in and out of the ears. Palms touch. Inhale, push the ears away. Squeeze the belly in. Exhale, reach it forward. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, reach. And then bring the right hand inside the left hand. So reach the left arm up towards the sky. Maybe sink the hips a little bit more. Get a feel that stretch outside that IT band. Breathe in as we twist. And then we drop the left hand to the outside that left foot. Step the back foot about a foot in. Inhale deeply again. Your option with the hands. You can clasp the hands behind. Just lengthen through the spine and hinge of the hip belly comes onto the thighs. Maybe the fingertips touch the earth. We inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, fold. Just focus on bringing the back hip forward, front hip back. As you root through the ankles of the feet. Breathe in. We exhale, fold. Bring the weight into the front foot. Soften through the front knee. Left foot comes about a foot in front of the left, left hand, sorry. Comes about a foot in front of the left foot. Right hand out to right hip. Flex the right toe. Maybe reach your right hand up towards the sky. Maybe the left hand towards the chest. Again, if you have this on slower, you can take a little bit longer. Just remember to connect to that breath. Inhale for the count of four. Pause in the poses. And exhale, sink deeper. Release the left hand. Soften through the front knee. Step it back into your warrior two. We're piling around the floor as much as we can. Breathe into the belly as you sink into the front thigh a little bit more. Lift the lower belly, drop the lower spine. The left hand floats up towards the sky, reaching in and out of the left ear. Right hand onto the right calf, reverse warrior. Breathe in, push the left rib cage away. Push. Slowly come back into warrior two. Hands into heart center, lift the back heel, face the top of the mat, warrior tree. Breathe in as you lift the lower belly, engage through that back leg, squeeze the side together, weight into the front foot, lift your back into warrior tree. Flex the bottom toes, breathe into the belly, lift your chest. Focus on breathing into that belly. And then soften through that front leg, chill out the hands. Lift that left foot up, three-legged dog. Stretch out to the back of that right leg. Inhale deeply, exhale, squeeze the left knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift it up. Left knee into chest. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, lengthen it off the mat. Bring the weight into the left hand. Fallen angel, as you reach the right arm up towards the sky. Through through the left baby toe side of that left foot. Lift the hips a little bit more. Breathe in, getting conscious of time now. And then release the right hand. And step it back. And we just drop the knees underneath the hips. And slowly walk the hands forward for our puppy pose. Keep the hips over knees. Reach our chin, reach our forward to the floor. Keep the belly plugged into the lower back so you don't collapse into the lower back. Keep the hips over the knees. The option to lift the form if you want to go deeper into those shoulders. And just press the earth away with the fingertips. Or you also, if you want to go deeper into a stretch on the upper arm, you can bend the elbow. Prayer comes into, hands come into prayer movement. And bring them towards the back of the neck. Breathe into the belly. Dig the elbows into the floor. Dig your palm them towards the knees. Breathe in. And we slowly rise up. Release the feet. Off the edge of the mat, the palms down. And we just bend through the knees. Lift out the lower belly. 
and just clap the hands underneath the thighs, the back of the knees. Grab the elbows, roll the shoulders back and down. Breathe into the belly and just start to walk the sit bones back or maybe walk the ankles forward. Try and keep the belly in contact with the thighs as much as you can. Try and flex the toes. You should feel a lengthening of the lower back and also a stretch of the lower, the back of the legs. Just take it where you feel it. Don't force yourself into anything. Breathe into the space between the back of the ribs and the, below, the back of the hips. The lower back, the lumbar back is what I was going to say. And then you can release the hands. If you feel like grabbing the outside of the feet, to inhale, go a little bit deeper. Maybe reach the ankles away, maybe hinge a little bit deeper. Breathe into the belly and surf the breath. And then reach your arms forward and lift the shoulders. Squeeze the belly in to slowly curl up. For ten. Squeeze your chin to chest. Squeeze the belly into the spine. Nine. Each exhale, can we squeeze the belly in a little bit more? Eight. Seven. Reach your arms forward. Open through the shoulders. Six. Five. Squeeze the belly in. Four. Squeeze the belly in on the exhale. And slowly release. And we just curl the knees into chest. Open the knees to the armpit. Lengthen the arm over the head. Happy baby pose. As you release the heavy arms between the knees. So the feet face up towards the sky. Just three deep breaths here. Breathe into the belly and push the belly towards the thighs. Flatten the back of the pelvis into the floor of the shoulders, the back of the head. Feel free to rock left and right like a happy baby. Feel free to bring awareness into the corners of the mouth. That sense of happiness, that sense of gratitude for what your body's just done. And then release. Wrap our arms around the shins into a tight little ball. Release the soles of the feet to the floor. Middle fingers graze the back of the ankles. Flatten the lower back into the floor. We just take three breaths with a wave and bridge. We inhale, lift the hips. Float the arms up over the head. Exhale, float it back down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, float it down. The last one, can you take it as slowly as you can with micro movements? Feel every little bit of that spine. Slow with the inhale. Just slow with the exhale. And then just bring the back of the hands to the floor. And slide the ankle to either corner of the mat. Feel free to grab any blankets or stuff. And then just bring awareness back into that gratitude as we inhale deep into that belly. Feel the diaphragm flow down into the pubic bone. And exhale, feel it flow back up to the lower lungs. Each inhale, bring awareness back down to gratitude. That new energy, that movement, that flow. Each exhale, feel the release, the let go of everything that's stuck and failed. Put an awareness to the soles of the feet. We inhale that gratitude for everywhere the feet have taken. And on the exhale, just allow those feet to soften, that they love and appreciate. We inhale to the shins, the back of the calf. Gratitude for holding you up for strength and then exhale, give them permission to relax and soften. Inhale, in that gratitude for the front of the knee, the back of the knee, the front of the thigh, the back of the thigh. Give them the gratitude and allow them to soften with that love. 
Inhale into the hips, the breaths. Bring that gratitude and exhale and learn to soften. Inhale into the lower back, the belly. Inhale all that gratitude for every bit of energy. It's broken down and exhale. Just allow to soften with that love and respect. Inhale into the heart, the ribs, for every breath taken, every emotion felt. Give it gratitude. And exhale, just allow it to be still and soften. Inhale that gratitude for the strength of our shoulders, our upper arms. And exhale, just allow it to rest. Inhale into the elbows, the forearms, the wrists. Allow it to relax. Inhale into the palms, right into the tips of every finger. We do gratitude for every bit of labor they did. And exhale, just give them permission to relax and love. Inhale into the back of the neck, the front of the neck, for holding up the head. And just exhale, allow it to soften into the neck. Inhale into the bottom jaw, the top jaw. Bring that sense of gratitude, appreciation for everything that's been said. And exhale to the other side. Inhale into the cheeks, the corners of the mouth, right up to the nostrils. Inhale the gratitude for every sense of laugh, for every smile. And just exhale and now to soften and surrender. Inhale into the top lip, the bottom lip, for every little bit of sensual touch. Give it gratitude if you stop and it will. Inhale into the earlobes, right through to the top of the ears, for every sound of air. Give it gratitude and then now to stop. Inhale into the closed feet, for every give it gratitude of expression. And exhale to the permission to just soften. Inhale into the eyeballs, allow them to sink into their sockets. Just give gratitude for every vision. Exhale, just allow them to soften. Inhale into the eyebrows, the crown lines, the forehead lines for every sense of emotion, every anger, every bit of tension. Give gratitude. Well, exhale, allow them to soften, relax, soften. Inhale into the hair, into every hair function. Give gratitude for this protection and exhale, allow them to soften. Inhale through the crown of the head, right through the spine, give gratitude to the whole body. And exhale, allow them to melt through the limbs, through the whole body. You just give up permission to Soften with love. Just allow your body to sink and soften with a sense of gratitude and appreciation and love. Inhale, we lift the arms up over the head. We take a banana stretch as you walk the arms up the shoulders to the left. Bring it back into center. We inhale, banana stretch over to the right. Exhale, back into center. Inhale, point the toes, reach your arms over the head. And exhale, curl the knees into chest. Just keep the eyes closed as you roll over onto your right hand side. And just bring awareness back into that gratitude, that appreciation for the amazing movements, the limbs, the squats, 
It's your back now, the sky on the peace. The law is inside. You give yourself the gratitude. The only thing you are given from your first breath to your last. Exhale, squeeze it tight with gratitude. Keeping the eyes closed, slowly roll it into a comfortable seated position. Lengthen through the spine, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Root the sit bones down towards the earth, or the head to the sky. And then we inhale, reach the arms up. Hands come to touch. And exhale, bring our tongue through the forehead and rest between our eyebrows. Inhale deeply. May you always feel gratitude for your vision. Down to your mouth. Inhale deeply. May you always speak words of gratitude. Slide down your chin onto your heart center. Inhale deeply. May you always love and express that sense of gratitude. Namaste. Thank you guys. See you next week.